Hello and welcome to VT Vibes TV, your only and your own youth TV show for the Fijian youth. If you'd like to be a part of the show, please call us and let us know because we're always here to take people who want to be on the show. Again, I'm your host, Pranay Sharma. And with that, let's begin. We're broadcasting from the unceded territories of the Kwantlen, Silvertooth, and Squamish Nations. We are grateful for the first people of this land to let them share this land and their sacred land with and territories with non-Indigenous people like us. So we're definitely thankful for them, and we really appreciate it. February 22nd is Pink Shirt Day. Anti-Bullying Day is an annual event held in Canada and other parts of the world, where people wear pink colored shirt to stand against bullying. The initiative started in Canada, and this is held on the last Wednesday of February each year. The pink uh, shirt began in 2007 when a student in Nova Scotia was bullied for wearing a pink shirt to school. This year's theme is kindness, empathy, and understanding that can mean so much to children impacted by bullying. When a kid when a kid's bullied, they don't know where to turn and where to ask help. And it's really important that we're always here so we can make a difference in this world. February is Black History Month. Attend events or lectures put on by black activists and learn more about black history, the struggles and achievements in Canadian society. Moving on, no show is complete without the support from our sponsors. So if you'd like to sponsor the show or any other show that we bring, and please pretty much give us a call and let us know and our numbers are in our credits. I understand how important it is to have a place called home and it's frustrating using your hard earned money on rent. Vic Prasad can make you a homeowner. Get pre-approved services provided to first-time buyers and new immigrants. You can qualify for mortgage even if you have bad credit. Call Vic Prasad now on 604-306-6647. Vic Prasad is associated with Craft Mortgages Canada Incorporated. For any kind of visa-related services, contact Milky Way Immigration, a galaxy of opportunities located at Unit 209-9547-152 Street, Surrey, BC. They have licensed immigration consultants, placement officers, and LMIA experts to meet your immigration and recruitment needs. Book one-time free consultation either on Facebook or by calling 604-396-0005. Arvind's Curry and Cocktail, Indian Cuisine. They do catering for all occasions and they do free delivery. Please call 604-515-1070. Address is 420 6th Street, New Westminster. Open 7 days a week from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. For deliveries, call 604-515-1070 or arvindscurry.com. Call. Bollywood Banquet Hall and Conference Center, located at Pile Business Center at 201-8166-128 Street in Surrey. No celebration is too small to accommodate you. They have newly renovated two halls to serve you, up to 1,000 guest capacity, top-notch chefs to delight you with delectable and heavenly cuisine. So just call Bollywood Banquet Hall at 604-598-2700 for your events. Benisi Mobile Detailing Services. They offer commercial trucks, cars, SUV, boats, bikes, RVs, and much more. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859 and they will do all kind of services at your home. Now we have our director, Shannon Pramal, in our studios. Let's see what she has for you. Like I said before, this is your show. And if you'd like to be on the show and be a guest on the show, please, please let us know and let us know what you're going to be talking about. Hello and welcome back to VT Vibes TV. I'm your director and host, Shannon Pramal. You can watch VT Vibes every week on Thursdays at 10 p.m. or Sundays at 4.30 p.m. only on the Shaw Multicultural Channel. Thank you again for sticking around with us for an all new episode. This week I'm joined by two of my lovely co-hosts, Tasha Chan and Shvangni Niker. So hello to you guys. Hello. Um, today we're talking about Valentine's Day. February has just come up and now the, uh, as soon as February 1st hits, I know everyone's thinking about Valentine's Day because it is the main holiday. It's the main character of the month of February. Um, so today we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day and all of our popular and unpopular opinions regarding the holiday. Um, so first and foremost, um, let's dive right into this. Uh -huh. What is Valentine's Day 
um, to you guys. And a reminder to everybody, everything that we say is obviously our personal opinions and thoughts. Um, and also, do let us know what you guys think to some of our questions and uh, topics that we're going to be talking about today. Um, let us know, and you can email us at vtvibestv at gmail.com, or you can shoot us a DM or message on our Instagram or Facebook, which is at vtvibestv. Okay, back to this. What are your guys' opinions about Valentine's Day? Uh... Okay, yeah, again, this might be an unpopular opinion. <laughs> I, I'm i not, like, gung-ho about the holiday. I'm, I'm not, I, like, I've never really been. Um, if someone decides to do something special for me, oh, my gosh, great, sweet, so <laughs> cute. Um, but I'm not, like, I, I love doing, like, Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. like, if, you know, time permits or whatever, like, something like that. Like, just make something fun of the holiday. But more than anything, I just really do think that the holiday is just, uh, like, money scam. If it wasn't, <laughs> why do they double the prices for the roses? Okay, if it wasn't, why do they do that? It's yeah. because it is. So, um, yeah, I know that, I don't know, is that like a, like just a negative vibe, like pessimistic way of looking at things? But I don't know. Again, I, I, I feel like I'm indifferent about it, honestly. That's no, what I think Valentine's Day. But I love, sorry, but I love that it's about love and like spreading love and all that type mm -hmm. of stuff. And I love that, like, I think more so before, maybe like 10 years ago, it was very focused on like couples and stuff maybe. Mm -hmm. And now, I don't know, or maybe it's just because I see it differently from a different lens because I'm older now or whatever. But I do think that I like the idea that it's evolved to like, oh, like, you know, it's like a day that you can show, like, you know, it's like for love, like for anybody, mm -hmm. not doesn't have to be just couples. So I do like that it's like evolved to that. But I mean, if you really think about it, like, isn't it like weird that you have a day for like love? Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Like, isn't that love is like an everyday thing it's an yeah. emotion it's an action it's a ver like it's just like yeah. weird i think this is our 21st century like whole perspective on it too as well <laughs> yeah. um i think obviously at a time way before like us maybe yeah. um or even still to the day people think it's like specifically for couples and like yeah. romantic relationships and it was as simple as like just surface level right yeah like you're just it's just a day to like celebrate your significant yeah. other it's just like an extra bonus day right yeah yeah but now it's come down to when you're really thinking about it like when you're talking about Valentine's Day, it's like, okay, now everyone's putting, like, especially I feel like when, for us, like, social media and all that, right, it really puts the pressure on, like, oh, you have to get, like, the extravagant, yeah. like, gifts and, like, roses and yeah. chocolates and whatever, right? Yeah. Just to be able to express your love. Yeah. When it's, like, now it's literally become a commercialized, um, yeah, like you said, yeah. money scam, like, yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Um, where it's, like, okay, you have to show your significant partner love, so-called love yeah. and attention on this day. Yeah. Right? Whereas, like, you sh that shouldn't be the case. I feel like it's, like, if you're only going to get me flowers on Valentine's Day, that's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's a huge problem. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Like, yeah. I just I just feel like if you're only doing something to show love and affection towards your partner, towards anybody, specifically solely just because it's Valentine's mm -hmm. Day and you think that that's what you're supposed to do, I think that's a problem. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. Yeah. What about you, Shirami? I never really liked Valentine's Day. I grew, growing <laughs> Are up, we all just pessimistic? We're just negative Valentine's Day. No, it's just, it's just no like, but it's I, just, I honestly yeah, feel just, youth yeah. probably agree. It's just, it's just growing up, yeah. Valentine's Day like in my household wasn't really celebrated really nicely, especially mm -hmm. like with my parents. Yeah. Because it's my parents' anniversary on top of it, so it's just like my me and my brother never really liked it. Mm -hmm. But whenever I go to like my nanny and nana's house, like we try to encourage our nanny and nana, and my thought yeah, like, oh, it'd be cute. Yeah, you never cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show us up. Yeah, I do think it's cute for like nanny and nana. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but it's just like I never really like I, I what I what last year was like the only proper year I had Valentine's Day. But then like yeah. this, it's just like every other year is just the same to me. Yeah. But yeah. it's just I feel like you shouldn't spec like specify a day just to show someone you appreciate them mm -hmm. in a way. Right, yeah. you don't appreciate anybody yeah. else. But, like, it's just, I feel like you should appreciate that person every day. Yeah. Instead of just one Like, and, what, yeah. what Tasha said on it. And going back to, like, what you're saying, I feel like that's kind of become true for, like, a lot of holidays now because of social media. Like, in the sense of, like, I don't know if you've noticed, but, like, even with, like, Christmas or Halloween, even the Wally, like, yeah, where it's, yeah. like... People go so above and beyond yeah. for things now where it's like, yeah. like, like, like these part, like, you know what I mean? Which is great. Yeah. I love it. I'm not like complaining about it, but it's like, I really do think because of social media. And I was like, if you do, don't, don't do something as cool as like mm -hmm. someone else that like posts on social media or whatever. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, we know like this is not cool though. Yeah. Or like, no, no, no. It, we have to do it like this way because everybody's been like doing this this yeah, way or exactly. like whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I think valentine's day is also gonna come like that you know what's so funny when you said that all i'm thinking is about like every kid on their snapchats on the wally posting fireworks <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you're not doing fireworks yeah, yeah, yeah. 
fireworks. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're not yeah, eating. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you're not eating all the mitai, you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah yeah, yeah where, but it's like at the end of the day what is it really about you know what I mean yeah, yeah, okay yeah. anyways back to the Valentine's Day yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also about to start talking about Thanksgiving <laughs> <laughs> no it seems like all it's these holidays yeah. that we have yeah. it's like what is the real meaning right. of it right yeah. at one time it might have been simpler, as simple as like oh yeah like let's just celebrate affection and love right, right? Yeah. right. but now it's like okay, like, what are we really celebrating? We're, yeah. we're trying to go all out and, like, outdo yeah. everybody, right? Yeah, like, yeah. having to prove that you're the power couple of the year. Yeah, on exactly, social media. Yeah. And that's another thing, right, that um, a lot of pe- uh, kids especially, I feel like we need to understand that everything... we're talking about y'all. Yeah, like, especially olds. young love teenagers and <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah. in your high school nice. years. Yeah. Everything you see on social media is 100% Set. not real. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they just had a fight five minutes ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I think we I, can yeah, relate I, with I, some I, of our yeah, own I, friends too. I, I, feel like, like, yeah. I feel like youth should keep their relationships <laughs> as quiet as possible because I feel like social media can make and break that. Oh, like 100%. Make, make and break that I've seen yeah. so many times where you'd see like some people that you you, you thought you're close to, whatever, and yeah, they're like yeah. posting, and you're like, wow, like that's so cool. They're going yeah. on these trips, they're yeah, doing this together, yeah, they're getting yeah. this, these gifts for each other. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, okay, like I could totally see them like go. Um, the longevity of their relationship, yeah, right? Because yeah. they seem Push. to be, like, doing all these things together. They, yeah. They're good. They're solid. Yeah. And then when it comes down to it, you find out behind closed yeah. doors, yeah. there was some really yeah. messed up yeah. stuff yeah. going on, right? Yeah. And the gifts and the trips and everything, it was just, just to a make up cover. Or, yep. or just cover. Yeah. Um, I, I do want to say that I feel like that goes for majority of it. They are, there are, however, there are, like, yep. those couples that, you know, are, are healthy and are strong and yeah. that there are guys out there that really will do those things for you just because they really want to do it. Yeah. Or girls yeah. will do those things. Thank you for things. mentioning that. Yeah, yeah. girls <laughs> will want to do those things for their man because, like, like, they just have a good, healthy, functioning, dynamic relationship those do exist yes. so like I don't want like the viewers to think that like we think that all relationships oh, are blah, blah, blah. no we are also aware that there are we're not hating on anybody like, you know <laughs> like there morning. are amazing relationships out there like that there are amazing people out there like that who are in relationships together so those do very much exist I think we're just talking about like the majority mm-hmm. of yeah no yeah. absolutely yeah yeah um I kind of want to be devil's advocate again but uh, <laughs> Do you think Valentine's Day is more geared towards uh, women than men or men than women? I do think it's, like, weird how it's kind of... Society has perceived it to be... Okay, and this is so interesting because I'm taking a gender psychology class. But I do think it's just kind of like, okay, why is it that the the man in the, the, man in the relationship, right, has to be... Is the one who has to, like, provide and, like and show his love or affection like to such extents mm-hmm. on that day and the girl is and uh, i don't know because i i get it people are like well they think that biologically and psychologically it's like there's a reason why the dynamic works in a relationship where the man is like the provider the protector the blah 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 blah, mm-hmm. and the woman is supposed to be a more, bit more like submissive and in the receiving mm-hmm. energy yeah. and whatever whatever so i i get that right I, mm-hmm. I i get that but it's just kind of like okay well if you're gonna do something for me let me also like i also want to do something mm-hmm. for you it's not about like you're the man no, I'm I'm like the woman of the relationship. I'm supposed to just mm-hmm. sit back and let you provide for me. Like, yeah. but I also want to do the same for you. So like, let me do that. Like, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. And that also doesn't mean that I'm like I I don't know how to be a woman, yeah. right? And also, oh, sorry, this, no, this no, goes go, so much go deeper. Ahead. What is defined? Like, who <laughs> made that up then? Like, who sat there and wrote like, okay, to be a woman, you need to be A B C D, and a man needs to be A B C D. Like, at the end of the day, we're all like human so if I want to receive things but then if I also want to give it to you that doesn't mean that I don't know how to be in my feminine energy Mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that like you can't also provide for me you can provide me but I can also provide for you too like you don't you don't need to like also like you don't need to like give me all these things like you know yeah anyways (laughs) it just goes into a whole deeper like conversation but no honestly I totally agree with you where it's like I'm I personally I'm more of like I want everything neutral like whatever you give to me I give to you right yeah not that it's a competition yeah yeah, 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 like keep going back and forth but it's just a matter of just like like okay no I want things to be equal here I don't want you to feel yeah Yeah, like no like I don't want you to feel that you have this burden of like having to please me yeah, or like yeah. you have to do something for yeah, me yeah. versus and I have to always like be like oh no I have to do this for you I have to like yeah. it shouldn't be like that there should be like a okay like I did this for you okay yeah. cool thanks love yeah. <laughs> Great, but and you do it, it because yeah. you love them exactly and that's also leads me into my next thing 
should Valentine's Day be a thing? Like, should we not be celebrating the people we love every day? I think, I think, um, because I, I feel like if you say like, oh, like, should there not be Valentine's Day? Mm -hmm. I think then it just kind of is like, well, then should there not be Mother's Day? Should there not be Father's Day? Like, is oh, there a day? Okay. Like, does that make sense? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, like, okay. yeah, it makes sense of like, there are specific days, even though like, again, it's like, you should always be like you know overall generally kind to your mom or like whatever and mm -hmm. like you know getting them stuff whenever you want love what like again it's it goes to the same thing it shouldn't be just on that day that you're showing your mom love mm -hmm. or making her breakfast like you know what I mean yeah. does that make sense so I think it's kind of in the sense of like I don't think it should maybe like go away because then it just like beats the purpose of like well there's so many other like yeah. holidays like there's yeah. actually like gra like grandma day and like grandpa day yeah. it's just like not as known or whatever but it's out there it's mm -hmm. in the calendar mm -hmm. <laughs> um so there's I, a day for everything to be yeah. yeah so there's a day for everything there's National Boyfriend and Girlfriend Day now too. Yeah, yes. I don't understand. So, that. I don't understand that either. Oh, what? Yeah, there is. This is the first time I'm hearing that. Huh? National Boyfriend Day, National Girlfriend Day. It's it's there. It's the oh, actually, I lied. No, There's, social media. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, this yeah. is like, not on the calendar. Yeah, yeah, no, this social not on the calendar. Media, but like social, it's like a social media actually no, because if you, no, no, no. If you look it up on Google, like if it's, you write, it's an actual day. It's an actual day. It's all okay. It's an actual yeah. Okay, anyways, that's a whole other conversation. But I think then then it's just kind of like well, then why do we have these days and that day and Mother's Day and Father's Day and all that type of yeah. stuff. Okay. So I so don't cancel Valentine's so, Day. So yeah, I, I would, yeah, I would say okay. Then that doesn't like make sense because then people that could be people's arguments, That's right? True. Yeah. Um. So I guess yeah, it's not more so of like canceling. It's just like calm it down. Mm. You know, just just <laughs> relax. Like just yeah. Yeah. my opinion. Yeah. But you do you. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. At the end of the day, we're yeah, just saying all this. But yeah. at the end of the day, it's yeah. you do you, boo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what about you, Shoji? Uh, it's like mostly, uh, you shouldn't really cancel it, but I feel like it shouldn't be as overblown as it is. Oh, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So, $50 roses? Yeah, Are you kidding 50, me? Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be overblown as it is, because you know what? And it's just like a day. It's like a yeah. private day like for you and your special person. You don't need yeah. to like overblow yeah. it everywhere, mm -hmm. you know? But Literally, like yeah. I was telling, sorry, like literally I was like telling like this person where I was like, do not get me. Like I was like, please, if you want to get me stuff, get, I don't. I do not want you spent like that doesn't make any sense exactly, like yeah. I like vocalize that of like I don't need it to for you to like get me flowers on that day get it like 50% off yeah, the yeah. next day like, a week <laughs> off like I don't like, it, right? like that save yeah. that money and you could go off for doing yeah, yeah. oh my gosh do you guys like do you guys follow people on Instagram where it's like um for Valentine's Day like the person like where it's like the like the man whatever will like go all out of like the hotel room but it's oh, like yeah, the bones yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. and it's like the oh, gifts whatever and yeah. this is just a valentine's day and you're like huh okay <laughs> yeah. again you do you yeah like, but, i love okay. that too but <laughs> yeah like, like but, yeah you know, for me i, I think personally it's like it's it should be an everyday thing right if you love yeah. someone you should show them every day exactly yeah yeah, yeah. But also maybe I think we have like similar perspectives on I think overall in like relationships we're not the types that are like we want extravagant gifts and we want extra mm -hmm. like does that make sense? Well, we're very, yeah, we're yeah, like yeah, simple. We're, yeah, we're yeah, we're very, we're kind of like more yeah. simple. Like we also don't want like yeah, just like create like yeah. not crazy yeah, but like exactly. extravagant. So I think. Yeah. Maybe that's why our perspective is That's like true, this. too. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. People that are extravagant be extravagant. Quality sure. yeah. 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 Okay. So, now, okay, the romantic thing is definitely what Valentine's Day is about. But, like, how you briefly mentioned before, Valentine's Day has turned into this sort of Galentine's Day as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, for those of you who are watching and don't know what Galentine's Day is, do one of you guys want to explain kind of the gist of it? Yeah, uh, well, Valentine's Day is just basically, like, a day where it's, like, you know, you get together with, like, your girlfriends, yeah. um, or it could just be, uh, it's Valentine's Day, but, I mean, it could, I mean, if it could go both guy, it could, yeah, it could go both ways, or any, if anybody, whoever, it's just, like, a group, you and your friends, y'all yeah. are, like, you guys kind of, like, you know, have this whole, like, spread, like, cute, like, Valentine's Day spread, like, a lot of people, like, usually they'll do, like, you know, like, kind of more breakfast stuff, like, mm -hmm. strawberries and, like, waffles yeah. and this and that, and it's kind of just, like, another... A reason or another like you know day that you can just kind of like have fun have some drinks mm -hmm. have some good food with like your girls or your guys or whoever mm -hmm. and yeah just kind of to like 
feel feel the love like that's just kind of like what it's about let's celebrate each other um but i don't like i don't know the actual like historical uh (laughs) sorry i don't know the actual thing behind this but i i do think it was just kind of more so it kind of started with like oh if you're not in a relationship then you can kind of do galentine's day but i do think that even if you are in a relationship where you do have a valentine's like romantically Mm -hmm. like you should still do galentine's you should still do galentine's your girls are still there yeah 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 no absolutely i think um My personal um, message for today is, like, if you love someone in your life, this could be your friends, your family, your significant other, um, a mentor, whoever in your circle, um, who you appreciate and are grateful for. You should be appreciative and grateful for them every day, right? And even if it is Valentine's Day and you want to celebrate on Valentine's Day, you can celebrate it with anyone of your choosing, anybody anybody in your circle who you appreciate and feel grateful for. Um, so I think it shouldn't be limited to like just the one, like, oh, this one person or whatever, whatever the situation is. Um, and don't let social media make you feel bad that you don't have a Valentine. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Like it's, and it's like very, like it's easier said than done, Mm -hmm. but like, yeah, just like, yeah, don't make, don't let social media make you feel like, or even if you had, this happens a lot too, where it's like, say you do have a significant other, or you just have, you have a Valentine's, like romantic Valentine's day for that day, Mm -hmm. whatever, but like, they didn't do as much, whatever, Mm -hmm. and then you go on social media, Mm -hmm. and then now you're like, oh my god, but like, they didn't get me this, like, they didn't do me, do this Mm -hmm. for me, like, blah, 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 do they not like me enough, do they not love me enough, as this other person who's, you know, like, showing their love and affection in this way or whatever, so just, if you are in a romantic, like, relationship or whatever, or even, even if you have a Valentine's Day, like, just know, like, everybody's relationship is different, everybody's dynamic is different, Mm -hmm. so just because it's physically and visually not shown to you Mm -hmm. in that way does not mean that your person, like, loves you any less Mm -hmm. no and that's a very important um message i think and piece of advice that you also gave as well whether it's like related to valentine's day or just like in general yeah is like you don't compare yourselves to others just always worry about like kind of yourself i guess yeah and i think especially as like younger people um especially even younger like in your high school years and stuff like that it could really be a lot because you're always like having to fight for like like compete against like other people you Mm -hmm. always feel like you have to do better than other people and just always having to compare like oh this person has this and this person has that so I need this right yeah Yeah. and just being in that mindset where it's like you're just comparing yourself constantly to others especially at such a young age like we're just like naturally like built to like always have to compare ourselves to each other and I guess it doesn't help too when other people also make you like say for example like parents yeah or just like oh why aren't you doing this or like it overall the gist of it is that you shouldn't be comparing yourself to other people whether it's your romantic relationships whether it's like your career whether it's like just your personal life everyone like nobody knows what actually happens behind closed doors kind of thing and i think yeah and i yeah and and just to like wrap it up of like i guess if you can kind of think of it this way like if we didn't have social media you wouldn't know what was going on in other people's lives exactly like you just wouldn't know yeah so you wouldn't be affected but like you'd be so focused on okay i need to this is my life whatever's happening like you'd be i feel like i feel like people would just be so much more grateful for the stuff that other people do for them or that happens in their life or how their life is going yeah. had like you know if you're not constantly seeing other people have it better than you on no. social media and absolutely you know um anyways we had quite a vigorous discussion about this <laughs> valentine's day but at the end of the day we do hope um from our team to yours um that you do enjoy um celebrating the people you love um whether it's on valentine's day or every day um, to celebrate the people you love, whether it's your friends, your family, your mentors, your parents, um, anything. Um, but with that being said, you can catch us every week on Thursdays and Sundays on the Shaw Multicultural Channel. Be sure to stay tuned as we have a lot more coming for you. But with that being said, we'll see you all next week. Thank you, Shannon. We have some announcements that you may be interested in participating in, so have your pens and papers ready. The countdown to the annual March 3rd to 5th, 2023 Rugby Sevens. There will be... 60,000 fans, 352 players, and 28 teams and countries for this three-day event on an epic weekend in BC. Reserve your tickets by going to tickets at Canada7s.com. Canadian Empowered Women of Fiji Foundation presents a fundraising event for the Canadian Heart and Stroke Foundation for Canada. For Valentine's Day Dinner and Dance, which is taking place on February 11th at the, at the Kanabankwa Hall at 6.30 p.m. 
Tickets are only $40 per person, and for more tickets and information, call 604-825-8261 or 604-831-0240. Sadly, we ran out of time for today's show, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I love bringing it to you. If you missed our show today, you can always watch it on Sundays at 4.30 p.m. in BC and 5.30 in Alberta time. No show is complete without our support from our sponsors. So if you can, and if you would like to, please help support the youth in the show and talk to Camila at 604-537-5123 for all inquiries about sponsorship. Please don't forget to watch Fiji Vibes and Fiji and Focus on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Uh, please don't forget to watch Fiji and Focus on Tuesdays at 10 p.m and Thursdays at 2.30 p.m., and Sundays at 4 p.m. Asian Pulse on Wednesdays at 2.30, and Thursdays at 8.30 p.m., and Saturdays at 5.30 p.m. as well. And the Camila Singh Talk Show on Mondays at 10 a.m., and the repeat on Sundays at 5.30. All our shows are uploaded to YouTube channel, so please watch them and like, and definitely please share. Before I go, I'll leave you guys with these thoughts. If you don't get satisfied and give the best version of yourself, you can achieve a lot. That's the direction we want you to go. The author is unknown. With that, have a wonderful weekend, and thank you guys for spending your part of the day with us. It's Pranay Sharma, and I'm signing off. I understand how important it is to have a place called home, and it's frustrating using your hard-earned money on rent. Vic Prasad can make you a homeowner. Get pre-approved services provided to first-time buyers and new immigrants. You can qualify for mortgage even if you have bad credit. Call Vic Prasad now on 604-306-6647. Vic Prasad is associated with Craft Mortgages Canada Incorporated. For any kind of visa-related services, contact Milky Way Immigration, a galaxy of opportunities located at Unit 209-9547-152 Street, Surrey, BC. They have licensed immigration consultants, placement officers, and LMIA experts to meet your immigration and recruitment needs. Book one-time free consultation either on Facebook or by calling 604-396-0005. Bollywood Banquet Hall and Conference Center, located at Pile Business Center at 201-8166-128th Street in Surrey. No celebration is too small to accommodate you. They have newly renovated two halls to serve you, up to 1,000 guest capacity, top-notch chefs to delight you with delectable and heavenly cuisine. So just call Bollywood Banquet Hall at 604-598-2700 for your events. Benisi Mobile Detailing Services. They offer commercial trucks, cars, SUV, boats, bikes, RVs, and much more. Just give them a call at 778-808-2859 and they will do all kind of services at your home.